I was told that I'm being ignorant, like every time they tried to call my name, I did not respond. I feel confused. And the moment I was diagnosed with moderate hearing loss, I did ask myself a lot, is this the end of my career? Am I still able to work in the ward? Like you need to look after a cancer patient. Uh, yesterday, she's got uh, chest pain, uh, so they take all the chops. Yeah. Oh, okay. After I informed my nurse manager about my hearing loss, she was also worried initially, but she was always there for me. La. She was telling me, why not you give it a try and perform it with hearing aid this time? Maybe things will get better. I feel it's out of kindness, like she's giving me a chance like, for me to pursue my passion. When I was younger, I actually wanted to be a nurse because I was brought up by my single mother. So whenever I've witnessed my mom fall sick when I was younger, I feel so helpless and I did not know what to do. So at the point of that, I keep telling my mom, I promise my mom, like, you know what, I'm going to be a nurse one day so that whenever it fell sick, right, then I know what to do next. Because of my promise to my mom, uh, that keeps me going. As a new hearing aid user, you tend to hear all the background noises that you haven't been hearing for the past 20 years. Sometimes the hospital environment can be very loud. I'll be scanning and there's a beep sound. Then at the same time, there's another beep sound from the toilet call and telephone call at the same time. Yeah, it's very overwhelming. Like I can hear all kinds of sounds, like all come together. So far from my experience, my patients will not even know that I have hearing issues until I actually told them. So uh, it doesn't affect my performance and skills. Most of them cannot see unless you are right beside me. Because it's just a transparent tubing hanging around my ear. You want to mm. Especially for cancer patients, after receiving the chemotherapy, they will be prone to fall. So it's very important for nurses like us to have a good hearing skills. We have to be very alert. La. So far, so good. Ah, then your mouthy le, still there? A little bit. Hmm. No matter how many times. I've seen my patient pass on due to a uh, cancer. Um, you will never be prepared when you love one diagnosed with cancer. And last year, my mom actually diagnosed with stage four cancer. The doctor declared that she has to be in palliative, like feel as comfortable as possible before the end of life. La. Yeah, so because of that, I actually went back to Malaysia just to look after my mom, being a full-time caregiver. It's scary to go through the process by herself. She said that if I'm not around, she will have died in the hospital instead of at home, which is something that she didn't want to. I was able to take care of her uh, until her last day. I slept with her until her last breath. Mm, it's because her last words to, to me was, um, I feel safe with you. Huh? You're tired. You sleep now. This is the last 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds. Ever since my mom passed on, I actually switched to medical oncology because it's related to my mom's case. And I would like to provide like the best, utmost comfort care for the same situation as my mom.